What's up, motherfuckers? It's Dooley, Dooley's Inbox video, and this is the first episode where I get questions from you motherfuckers, and I answer them. What's up, YouTube? It's Dooley All Day here, and uh, you guys had questions, so I got answers, so let's get right into it. Open up this envelope. So you guys have left me some questions. Okay, got a fresh page of bullshit. First question, Gabe Modgas, why don't you answer my phone calls? Uh, because I don't want to. Jadalay, next question. Jadalay, what is the meaning of life? And P.S. Why are your videos so amazing? Uh, the meaning of life is to um, live. Yeah. And uh, why are your videos so amazing? I work really hard on them. Next question. Gary Modgo, are you even like Punjabi? Punjabi! 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 Uh, Game Mod Girl with another question says, Do you even listen to Drake? Every single goddamn day of my life I do. <laughs> Why don't you look at me when we make love? Um. I don't even know you. So, maybe that's why. And I've never made love with you unless you're a ghost and you rape me at night. Why must my heart race whenever I see you? I've never seen you before, at least I think I haven't, and... Shit, now I'm getting scared, to be honest, because I don't know how you look, so I... If your heart's racing when you see me, uh... I don't know. How does one feel Drake? Okay, so what I like to do here is just think of something that uh, you want, but you can't get. Like, uh, or, no, think about, no, scratch that. Think about a girl you like who doesn't even know you exist. So what I like to do is I like to think about Emma Watson, right? And when I found out she was going out with that rugby player, I was just like, are you fucking shitting me? Are you fucking serious? Like, I'm out here waiting for you, and you're just going out with all these different guys? Um, so yeah, that's how you feel, Drake. You think about a girl that doesn't know you exist. Uh, Jazzy Delay comes in and says, Favorite Bieber song? Out of Town Girl. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Zayn Malik's departure from One Direction? I don't give a fuck. What's a weird thing nobody knows about you? I like to shower at night. I don't like drinking milk. I don't like ranch with pizza. I don't like ranch at all. I take showers at night. Apparently that's really weird, but... Uh, I don't know, I like taking showers at night, I feel relaxed, it relaxes all my muscles after a long day of playing video games, and I get a good night's sleep. Favorite reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, hands down. I used to shit on that show, like, a lot, I never liked that show, I used to make fun of how dumb Kim was, but I remember in the summer, I used to wake up at around 1, make myself some pancakes, and the only show that was on was Keeping Up With The Kardashians, so I watched it and I got kind of addicted, I watched it uh, for the whole summer. When I was on the plane to Toronto, I actually watched it for about four hours. It's pretty, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty entertaining. But if uh, you get a plane ticket to anywhere, where would you would you get a plane ticket to anywhere? Where would you go right now? California, so I can meet Fliz and ask him for a fucking job. And now we got Andrew Sudi coming in and asking, why is the transverse spatial extent of a photon proportional to its wavelength, which is a longitudinal quality? And uh, the short answer to that is uh, the uncertainty principle, buddy. Uh, next question. Will your answer to this question be no? Yes. Do you have any idea of the physical toll that three vasectomies have on a person? I think you 
and I think you know what I'm thinking. That's is that how it goes? I know you're thinking what I'm thinking. Wait. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's what it is. Roll the clip. When you said that you might want to have kids, and I wasn't so sure who had this vasectomy reversed. And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, who had it reversed back? Stip stop, stip stop, stip stop. Dowdy mammy asks, how many hairs do you have? And how can you sleep with your hairs? Also, why do 99.9% .9 of people who drink water end up dying? I got a lot of fucking hairs. I'm not gonna lie. I'm one hairy ass motherfucker. I can never get a tattoo because I got fur on my body. And, um... Can you sleep with your hairs? Not in the summer, I can't. I, uh, I trim my whole body. So, uh, I'm more aerodynamic when I have to play sports. And, um... Yeah. You'd be surprised how much hair I have. It fucking sucks. Also, why did 99%... Oh, how many... Wait, I answered... No, I answered that question. Also, why did 99.9% .9 of people who drink water end up dying? I wonder how old this guy is. Jowdy Mammy. J.E. Mammy 87. If you look at this guy's picture on Twitter... Where is it? Right here. Can you see it? Uh, he looks like a little kid, so... I don't know. I don't know. Ninety-nine percent of people drink water and end up dying. <sighs> We're all gonna die one day. Who gives a fuck? If you're still taking questions, rank the dad walls and why you place them there, the people want to know. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna be really real on this one. If I had to answer this question four years ago, it would have been Aaron number one. Okay, no, no, okay, I gotta give you guys a backstory, first of all. Okay, so there's four dad walls we're talking about here, I'm assuming. Reminder, TJ, Aaron, and Rajan. Got a burp. Okay. Reminder and TJ are cousins. They're both twins. They're like 20 fucking who knows what. And then Aaron's older than Rajan. We got TJ. We got Reminder. We got Aaron. We got Rajan. If I had to answer this question four years ago, it'd be Aaron first, then Reminder, then Rajan, then TJ. Because Aaron used to be cool. I used to talk to this guy a lot. And remember, I used to play Xbox with like every day, and he used to give me some good life advice that I never took. Then we got Rajan, who was always just a cool guy. And then we got TJ, who was a fucking douche. This guy used to just come on Xbox and just roast everyone, man. We'd be, we'd be in a party chat, and Reminder would be talking, and we'd be like, Alright, man, this is cool. Yeah, we got Reminder. Then next thing you know, Reminder goes take a piss, and then you just hear like the same guy, but with like a like more smoother voice. Just start shitting on everyone, and uh, thanks a lot, TJ. But if I had to answer this question now, it'd be a, actually... It'd be a lot different, um... Okay, I'm gonna have to break it down. Okay, so teach- Okay, this is Aaron, right? He's up here. This is grade 10. We're gonna go through the years, right? This is grade- I think this is like 2010, and this is- Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Okay, so this is him in 2010, right? This is Aaron Dadwell. Now, he- Uh, thinking about it, he made fun of me in the grade- in the 8th grade for being shitty at soccer. Then in the ninth grade, he threw a pizza crust at me that was, uh, drenched in ranch. So it went all over my black sweater. So he's gonna go a little bit down there. And then he's kind of a douche. So, put him right there. And, uh, now he's an elitist. And all he talks about is school, so we're gonna put him right there. Okay. Okay, and then we got TJ, actually no, TJ's, like TJ's way down here, uh, he gave me a lot of, he helped me out a lot in life, so, with a lot of things, so we're gonna put him right, he shoots up to the top, man, this guy's, this guy's a cool guy, but then recently he's kinda going down a little bit, he doesn't talk to me as much, and then we got Reminder, okay, this is TJ, but then we got Reminder, who's up here, cause we played Xbox a lot, but, uh, then he started 
Then he went to university and stopped talking to me. And I... Yeah, he's gonna... Yeah, we're gonna put him down here. Then he got a girlfriend without telling me, so... <laughs> down here. But then he came to, uh... He came to where I lived the other... Uh... I don't know how long ago, and he's really cool, so I'm gonna put him all the way up here. And then... T... TJ... TJ... This... Put up TJ... Okay. And then... Boom. So they're the same, right? They're like, they're like together. And then we got Rajan, who was just like, you know, Rajan's kind of chilling. But I got a lot of respect for the guy, because he plays Call of Duty a lot. So he's going to go up here. And he's really cool. So I'm going to put him up here. He's a nice guy. And he's subscribed to my channel, so he beats all you motherfuckers. So Rajan's number one. TJ and Raminder are tied for a second. And Aaron is last. Um... Yeah, it feels good being last there, bud, huh? Aaron likes being first, but now he's last. Welcome to the party, pal. Uh, yeah, that's it for that's it for my first uh, episode of Dulé's Inbox. Um, I hope you guys liked seeing my face. And uh, yeah, I, I know the wall's kind of bare. I'm thinking about getting some posters here. Uh, if you guys want to draw some stuff and send it to me, I'll put it on. I'll put it in the back, but or put it on my wall or something. But uh, until next time, I'm doing it all day, and I'm out. Should I do the face cam where I do that? No, that's that's fucking lame now. Uh, until next time, I'm doing it all day, and I'm out. Peace.